Hi guys, it's Allie and welcome to my channel. Obviously, it's a little bit of a different setup right now. For those of you who have been subscribers of mine or just have seen my videos from the past, I guess it was about like four years ago, I did like a whole little tea time series. And that was before spilling the tea was like a thing or maybe it was like just becoming a thing or maybe I was just very out of the loop but it literally was just me talking about different teas so i thought that i would bring that back and maybe do a little spin on it and no i am not going to get into like the drama in the beauty world or the internet or anything like that but i figured maybe we can do like kind of a story time type thing if i can think of anything also, if I don't end up like botching a story because I'm the worst storyteller ever, my mind is like a million different places and I try to get you to understand what's going on in my mind. So we'll see what happens. I also did this makeup earlier today with my daughter. We were just playing around and when it was freshly done, I was like, oh, I should have filmed it or I should film something. And then I decided to just hang out with my family and then it was time for me to cook and I was cutting some onions and my eyes are watering. Long story short, it's really, really late. I should take my makeup off. I really should have done it before filming, but I didn't. I look a little exhausted right now, but that's okay. So I'm in my robe. We're keeping it casual and let's get into it. I thought maybe what I could do is I guess talk about the tea first and then as I'm sipping on it we can get into maybe some of like my personal tea without getting too personal also who likes candles out there because I'm obsessed with candles if you did not know that so maybe we can do a tea and a candle whenever we do these so this tea that I have is actually from a local tea shop by me. It is their organic chamomile lavender tea. Now, this is obviously an herbal tea, so there is no caffeine. It's very calming, very relaxing. I love to sip on it at the end of the night. This is a very simple tea. It has organic chamomile, organic rose hips, and organic lavender. It's so good sounds so simple but these three together amazing right, i'll show you the actual tea i wish that you guys could smell it obviously you cannot but i don't know maybe try making it yourself like a little blend but just as a little inspiration you guys can see clearly the chamomile the rose hips and the lavender Maybe if you have a tea shop where you can go ahead and make your own blend, try that out. Otherwise, maybe do your own twist on it. Take a little chamomile, a little lavender, something with rose hips, and call it a night. The way that I like to have that tea is actually with a little drop of milk and either a little bit of honey or a little bit of sugar. We are currently out of honey right now, so I just put a tiny bit of sugar. And how cute is this? This is a little steeper that I got from David's Tea years ago. If you saw my past videos, you'd see that almost all of my teas, if not all of my teas then, were from David's Tea. But this is a cute little steeper. Uh, I think it was like a Mother's Day special, and obviously I have my world's best mom cup because I'm the world's best mom, obviously. Do you guys want me to do that? Do you guys want me to talk about either some tea going on in my life or past stories? I was thinking about that, like what can I really talk about without really getting into things? If you want to hear, stick around. If you were literally just here for the tea, then thanks for watching. I'm going to tell a story about where I used to work. There's a few, but this one sticks out of my mind. So where I used to work was in an area with, I guess it was in a more wealthy area with a lot of wealthy neighboring areas. And basically the clientele that went there were people generally that had a lot of money. Now you had all different types of people. You had some people that had like tons of money and you would never know, or like you knew, but just talking to them they were so down to earth and saw you as like an equal and then you had people that kind of saw you like the help right 
So there was a lady. For those of you who don't know, I am a professional hairstylist. And she came in and everything was about her talking about herself, whether her bag or how much money she spent when she was shopping or her vacation or this and that and building a new home by the water and this. And I'm like, cool, that stuff doesn't impress me. It really doesn't. To each their own, also ignore my nails. I'm not someone who goes around talking about how much money they have or how much this was or that was. Or To me, I feel like honestly, that's tacky. I feel like if you have that money, great there's no need to talk about it and sometimes what i've seen those who really go around talking about it you're kind of trying to overcompensate i don't know but anyway this lady was like constantly talking about money this money that all this money that she had and her friends that had money and this and that and i think so many people just like fed into it and you just saw her ego inflating. You have clients like that, you have people like that, and I don't know, I feel like a lot of the times they go to salons or wherever, and they just wanna be heard. So like, that's kinda sad if you think about it. But then of course you have hairdressers, and a lot of the times we tend to like feed into it and just give them what they want, right? We're people pleasers. We want to make people happy. That's why we do what we do for the most part, you know? Now, this lady, she was happy with what I was doing, but also would always find something to complain about. Other hairstylists, you know, you know when there's people that no matter what you do, they're going to find at least one thing that you did not do right, you know? And... To me, that's like, that's a personal problem. That's like a deeper issue. And a lot of times we are kind of like therapists, but like that's a whole other level. So this lady liked how I did her hair, but there was always something like, I didn't like the product you use, or I needed one more low light, or this piece needed to be chunkier and this and that. And I'm just like, okay, lady. But anyway, so each time she would tell me these things and mention these price tags and like stare at me like she wanted a reaction out of me and I just was not giving it to her and now at this point it kind of became like a game right because I'm like okay lady I know what you're doing like you want to impress me and I'm not giving you that reaction so me I'm stubborn and I'm like okay game on like we're doing this still keeping it very professional because I'm always very professional and I'm just like I'm not going to give you any type of satisfaction, especially because I know you want me to be so over impressed by your life. Even when there were some things that she would tell me and inside, I'm like, oh my God, that's absurd. I would not just like, nope. And I wasn't like dead or cold. I was just like, okay, you can tell me that you bought a $5 million home or you bought like a shirt on sale at TJ Maxx for like $10. And I'd be like, that's cool. So finally she was telling me about this wonderful guy that her friend met and he's he's so great and oh my goodness and he lives in manhattan and he has an apartment in manhattan and he has an apartment in this place and this and that and i'm like okay like is he nice is he a good guy or is he just loaded like what makes this guy so great right She's thrilled for her friend, like, oh my goodness, she deserves this guy. He's so great and this and that. And he takes her to these restaurants and these vacations. And I'm like, that's nice. She goes and tells me, oh my goodness, my girlfriend, she got engaged. And I'm like, oh, that's so exciting. Like, congratulations to her. She's like, you need to see the ring. I'm like, okay. She shows me a picture and it's a big ring. Not gonna lie, it's a big ring. It was a big, I forgot how many carats. This is like years ago, right? So forgive me if the details are a little fuzzy, but whatever, some absurd amount of weight for this ring. And she, it's it's X amount of carats and it's a yellow diamond. It was a beautiful ring. And I'm like, oh, that's so pretty. And she was like insulted that that's my reaction. I was like, oh, it's very pretty. She's like, pretty? I'm like, yeah, it's nice. She's like, nice? 
this ring is nice. And I'm like, what did I say? Like, okay, lady, what did I say? What was so offensive? I didn't say that, but she was like, nice? This ring is nice? Are you kidding me? And I'm like, it's a very nice ring. She's like, do you know how much this ring costs? Now, and I don't want to say a number because I don't want to be giving out false information. It was something like, obviously a few, at least like tens of thousands. So whether it was like 50,000 or something like that, but something along those lines. She And she said, this ring was, let's say 50,000, right? Which, okay. So she's like, do you know how much this ring costs? I was like, no. She's like, this costs 50,000. Again, do not quote me on this, but just for the story's sake. And I was like, oh, okay, nice. And she was like appalled that that was my reaction. Like, actually, she was disgusted that that was my reaction. I was like, oh, it's a nice ring. It's like, it's so pretty. And she was pissed, so pissed to the point that she was just like, ugh, and just kept looking at her phone. So I just tried to continue on with the conversation, like a normal conversation. And she was just like, wanted nothing to do with me because I did not like drop dead over this yellow diamond ring. So that was the last time I did her hair. (laughs) I'm not kidding. She was so appalled that that was my reaction to her friend's yellow diamond engagement ring that she wanted nothing to do with me. And now before anyone starts saying, oh, maybe you messed up her hair and this and that and blah, 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 like, no, there was no issue besides the fact that I did not freak out over this yellow diamond ring. So she continued going to that salon and I would see her and I'd be like, hi, how are you? So cold. She's like, oh, hi. And a few times I did end up working like next to the person that she would be seeing. And it was the same thing, like nonstop about oh, I went to this or we're going to go on this cruise and we're going to go to Europe and we're going to go shopping and this and that in my house and I'm I'm getting another house and we're building this and we're building that and I'm buying an apartment and I'm just like, oh my God, lady. And now the stylist that she did end up seeing, I, she saw a couple of different ones, but each of them were feeding into it like, oh my goodness, that's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, how much, how much did that cost? And wow, and you don't even have to ask her like she would tell you this cost a million dollars and I'm building this and I'm redoing my kitchen and I'm already spending 300,000. I'm just like, it's a nice kitchen, things like that. So because I didn't give her the reaction she wanted about her lavish lifestyle, she stopped coming to me. I think there was, I think I did her hair or like her blowout or something one other time and I got, I got a little satisfaction because you could tell that she was really happy and like she missed how I, having me do her hair. I think the reason why I did her hair that day was because the stylist she was then seeing was not available and you could tell, you could tell that she was like very happy with how her hair came out, but she just she i guess was just as stubborn as i was and did not want me doing her hair because i wasn't impressed by her so yeah that i just scratched my nose so so i don't know why but that story always like sticks out to me when people are like oh have you had any crazy clients i wouldn't call her crazy but i feel like there were definitely things going on there like definitely so that's it so that's me spilling some tea not that exciting but again i'm not going to get into like real life drama so that does it that's my little story time but anyways it's getting late i got cleaning up to do real quick before i end this just in case you guys are interested the candle that i'm lighting at the moment is by bath and body works and it is the cinnamon spiced vanilla This smells so good. This is probably my favorite candle. And it's like my go-to candle when I want just like a little touch of warmth 
and a little touch of sweetness going on. I love lighting that. So usually I'll light that when I'm done cleaning up and I'll have my cup of tea. I'll throw on some, honestly, probably YouTube or Housewives or Grays or anything like that. And I call it a night. That does it for my tea time. Let me know if you guys like this little format. I cannot wait to take this makeup off. I'm exhausted. But let me know if you guys like this. And if you want to hear some more stories. And they don't have to all be like client or work stories. It's just some fun little stories for you. So if you did like this, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you want to see more videos like this. Let me know what teas that you guys like. I don't know. Any other tea drinkers out there? Click the bell for notifications. Be sure to stay happy and I will see you guys in my next video.